What is math rock? Hi, my name is Robbie. I've been listening to all the music one artist at a time, and I've listened to almost 600 artists at this point, and genres can be confusing. So now I'm trying to figure out what math rock is. Math rock, the name, gives the connotation of solely focused on the mathematical elements of music. And while some of that can be true, it's not painting the whole picture. First big influence on math rock was prog rock, whereas prog rock was bigger in the 60s and 70s, math rock didn't come around until the late 80s and into the 90s, but they both like to focus on the weird time signatures and ancient syncopations to try and keep listeners on their toes. Math rock also likes to borrow from prog rock, ambitious songwriting of multiple different passages in one song, and long instrumental breaks in songs. A lot of these influences are why people will point at King Crimson's as one of the big influences on math rock. But the other big influence on math rock is that they came out of the post-hardcore scene. So on top of this prog rock style music, they also would have more aggressive vocals generally, and a more minimalist approach to creating these songs. I don't know why it's so important, but it seems like everywhere I look, they feel the need to mention that some of the bands don't have singers. Because location-wise, math rock seemed to come mostly out of the Midwest, Midwest emo got heavily influenced by math rock, starting off with American Football's self-titled album having the iconic twinkly guitar riffs from math rock. And that being co-opted by later, more recent bands like Mom Jeans and Tiny Moving Park. So, where do I think you should start? Well, I think that the American Football Self-Titled Album is the best one to do because it's a little bit more accessible than most math rock. But Slint's Spiderland is considered the magnum opus of the genre. 